Are you ready for some black sheep? Exercise is live! Black Sheep Bravo, broadcasting from red zone to green zone and everywhere in between. Always armed. Oh, All right, oh, fucking red light is on, dude. Let it go. Let it rip. This is a brand new episode of Black Sheep Bravo. This is the Spaniard. Along with me is Crash and our new executive producer Taco El, El Jefe. The Taco. Jefe. <laughs> so, uh, just to let the listening audience know what happened, uh, there's some things in the works. We really can't let the cat out of the bag. We got some time on that. However, Black Sheep Bravo is going to continue on. Uh, with myself and Spaniard and uh, some individuals you'll meet along the way, uh, superheroes. I'll leave it at that. But So today, we're actually not even in a studio. We're recording here on the farm uh, in front of the bonfire. Uh, I'll get the wife to take some pictures so you don't think I'm full of shit. I wish this guy was bullshitting, but we're literally <laughs> on his farm. I'm looking at his goats as we speak. So, and <laughs> Evidently, I, I put bird shit in, in Crash's wife's drink, so I don't know. I, I didn't know I was able to do bird shit, but... But we're hillbillies, we're and she'll drink it anyway. Yeah, well, I don't, she's downing it pretty good. How did? How did? What, were you serious about bird shit? Like, how did that happen? What, he lifted he have, the chair and placed the oh, bird. Oh, oh! I chair. thought like a chicken shit on your shoulder because he has chickens on the fucking farm. Chickens and around the corner. I thought the, I thought the chicken shit on your shoulder and that you. you it's come, a line. It, come it was on, a, it was a brush line. his shoulder off into her drink. But so uh, all right. it's we're all right. here at the round table, which is actually a tree stump, uh, <laughs> discussing some ideas and. Uh, to enlighten us with his presence. So why don't you uh, enlighten our audience of who you are? Tell us a little bit about yourself. So uh, I am a big, uh, big swinging dick out in the city. Uh, do do a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of this, a lot of that. Um, I've known Choppa for years. Just met Crash. Oh, excuse me. I know I've known Spaniard for years. Just met Crash <laughs> recently, and uh, been helping him out a little bit with uh, some counsel on Black Sheep Bravo. And um, as they've decided to make some changes, I had the opportunity to sit and visit on the farm, so I thought I'd get involved. And uh, so, but that doesn't shit explain and, uh, what, what do you do? Who, you really want to know what I do? Who the fuck are who you? Who the fuck am I? Yes. Who's I likes? What are your yeah. dislikes? Do you like men? Do you like women? Do you like animals? What, tell us. Tell us Why more. Yeah, he was going. He was eyeballing like, those fucking goats. He was, looking, he was looking at Big Mom over there, the big fat chicken. You the saw big, the, the fat chicken. You saw the fat, fat chicken. His, his, his veins in his pants were pulsing. <laughs> you know, the Mexicans yeah. love those big fat yeah. asses. Yeah, especially well. big fat white asses. Yeah, I'm, chi- I'm chickens. <laughs> I'm chickens. So uh, I'm a I'm a stockbroker for uh, the best way to describe it. Uh, work in the city, and uh, Wait, what city? I work in the city of Chicago. Oh, Chi Town. I'm a shy town guy. Ah, bears. Uh, yeah, gotta love, gotta love the bears. I'm a stockbroker, and um, as I said, I've known Spain, Spaniard for years. And uh, Crash, I just met this crazy fucking cowboy hat wearing bar- farmer. And uh, so, I just told him he was a farmer, and he farms. I do. He definitely farms. So, so which is funny. So, which brings me to how me and Chapa know each other. Spaniard. Spaniard. El, El Spaniard. Uh, we were actually on a SWAT team together, and it's actually a true fucking story. Uh, we were both uh, patrol cops in a, a municipality. Outside of Chicago. Outside of Chicago. Outside of the city. And uh, I, we both went to the FBI SWAT program. We both served on the same SWAT team together. We both like uh, Italian beef over at Al's, over there at the pizzeria. Over Italian there on, beef, not roast over, beef. Over there on Halstead. We jerked each other off in a car one night, and then uh, he wanted to do a radio show. Now we're best friends. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was cold that night. Hey, he swallows. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. now you made you it. You can't find many people that do that these days. You made it weird. Hey, I had a double shift. I was hungry. <laughs> he shaved that day, though. He's <laughs> got a fucking carpet for a chest. And for those, you really do. That's scary. I, is that? You look like, like Chewbacca. <laughs> you're like a... Uh, the I, which, is, which is weird because I'm 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 like I'm like Dude, a hairless, my arms. I'm like a hairless chia. Look at this shit. Mm-hmm. See, I got nothing. See, See, I'm like half, I don't, dude. I'm like I'm like the whole. Holy shit! Is that real? So, is that yeah. for real? You have no hair in your chest. Nothing. Holy fuck, dude! That's That's natural, natural, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got glass cutters, dude. I get fucking. I got erasers. Those are tips. black lady nails. <laughs> Damn, dude, I fucking uh, you're you're disgusting. I don't want to, that's gross. So for I'm, everybody no, listening and that's been tuning into Black Sheep Bravo, uh, especially through our social media platform or through the 
internet-based platforms, you got to realize uh, our shows have been really less candid and a little scripted due to some FCC regulations and some affiliate regulations who we were airing with before. Uh, as of now, for internet-based stuff and social media-based stuff, weapons free. We're re- weapons free. The foreskin's coming off, and we're going to be moving forward. However, uh, we do have some things in the works and some other programs that we'll be doing that are still going to follow the same regulations. We just don't want to lose the interest. I do. I do want to apologize also for the, the road noise and the birds and and bleeding from the goats. Because, uh, again, we are literally outside. Uh, we are off of a highway. I'm going to go grab a chicken. By. We need a chicken in this episode. I think, I think we need to, he really is going to grab a He's chicken. He's going to go grab a chicken. But uh, there's dogs, chickens, farms. It's a, it's a nice environment. Goats, ducks. We got the uh, got the fire going. So, well, um, But wait a second. Going back to my fucking hairy chest. Yeah. I was reading. I was sitting in a VA hospital clinic. And I don't know why the fuck there was a Cosmopolitan magazine there. Is that Cosmopolitan? Or is that... I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it was a women's magazine. Yeah, yeah. It's Cosmo. You know what the fucking Cosmo? I thought you were setting me up for a fucking... No. Yeah, yeah. It was Cosmopolitan. I was reading... There was a magazine there. There was there was no more hunting and fishing magazines or popular mechanics or anything like that. So there was... All it was left was a My ass, Cosmo. dude. You saw a Cosmo. You're like, oh, cool. Let me how to... A thousand ways to please my wife. All right. You're fucking right. All right. I did. That's the first thing I saw. Anything that's... I see sex on a magazine. Why are you cover. trying to please my wife? You sick no, that's your wife. I'm talking about that's what I saw in the magazine cover. So anyway, I opened it up and it talked about what women likes, according to one of those thousand tips that yeah, right, about. yeah, sure, so sure. One of the things that they like, besides the shaved balls and nice trim trimmed area, was lack of hair. Like you don't want hair, so I thought I would trim it. But obviously, I guess I had. Well, well, then why are you? Then let me ask you something. It's not trimmed. No, no, dude, it's not. It's horrible. Why, so let me ask you, why are you shitting on me? You look like fucking Burt Reynolds, circa '77. Fuck yeah, this is beautiful. I'm naturally beautiful, and, and you're shitting on me for it. I'm not shitting on you. I just, I just never thought you had a fucking bare chest. Yeah. And who do we have with us today? Who's so this? So this is Hank the Tank. That's Hank the Tank is a big ass cock. rooster. That's a big dude. You got a huge cock. That's a mean. That. That's a mean motherfucker. That is a mean looking cock you got there. Yeah. Wow. So he's got to get held anyways because he's been kind of mean to the kids. But yeah, this is Hank Damn, the look tank. at those large for, talons. And for anybody listening, he's he's about the size of, of little of little Jerry Seinfeld. And oh, now you're giving no, me this no, fucking. No, I don't do want to. No, how do you, uh-uh. Nah, dude. Yeah. You, you never held a fucking rooster? No, I've never held a fucking... How dude, do you fuck? choke the cock five days a week? You're married. Yeah, you know? I, Everybody knows you choke the cock. Yeah, but Look at those different. talons, man. Oh, my God. I'm holding, the, I'm holding a rooster. I don't want to hold this thing. Hold his wings, Indian. There you okay. go. Yeah, he'll yeah, yeah, right. we'll fucking fuck you up. Look at his talons. I'm holding, I'm holding a rooster right now. This is, Dude, that's scary. Yeah. I don't yeah, even want to fucking touch it. should be very scared. <laughs> I do. Look, he, he's I, he's eyeballing me, man. That'll make him docile. So you're doing you're doing me a favor by holding my cock. Yeah. Oh, I like it. This <laughs> is yeah. really enjoyable. Well, there you go. Wow, this is big time Chicago <laughs> broker is, is fucking <laughs> slinging cock now. That's gonna be on the fucking uh, Wall Street Journal. Yeah, tomorrow. no shit. It's Monday true, morning. Hey boss, wow, look at this. Look at Crow. Look at he's doing. He's yeah. fucking slinging cock. So now, all right. So besides that, what do you do? Like you got pet mice or something? What do you do at home? At home. I have two. I have two children. I don't have any. Do- I don't have any pets at all. I'm, I have severe allergies to all kinds of pets. <laughs> so I'm, I'm all Do you fucking. Need an right I'm now? snot. I'm snot all over the place with this chicken in my hands. It's a cock. I got okay. That it's too. A no, I got. Uh, I, we don't have any pets. We got a nice yard, but uh, yeah, we just uh, you know we got the kid, kids are in sports. Um, I'm involved actually in a lot of philanthropy, a lot of different organizations. I'm president of a uh, professional trading organization. Um, What's the lamp? For lamp or three? That's like fellatio, right? It's like sucking dick, but you do it in a classy way. Yeah, it's, there it's, you go. it's high price. It's high price dick suckery. There you go, <laughs> dick suckery for you fucking farm boys. Um, <laughs> so yeah, a lot of a lot of charity related stuff. Uh, this professional organization um, involved in stuff in the community. Do some churching up. Uh, how about, uh, I'd, I'd like to coach my daughter's soccer team next year. She's pretty involved. She loves soccer, so that's fun. So I just try to do the dad stuff a little bit. I'll uh, probably need to do that a little, a little more. Cause, uh, Dude, you're fucking amazing me with holding this fucking rooster, man. It's like you're a statue. It's like one of those pictures of, like, a 1912 picture of a general. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, now he's pissing him off. No, I'm sorry. Hey. Well, I'm going to fire. <laughs> Too soon. Too we'll, soon. We'll, 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 have, you we'll, we'll have cooked chicken. You'll yeah. get pita after your ass. Oh, no shit. Come here, Hank. Ah, dude, that's, that's scary. Wow. See, you, you, you fucked it up, man. I didn't fuck it up. I just no, thought that was pretty the, unique. Uh, how you we had, had the... Uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm like Caesar. I'm like the, the dog whisperer. I'm like the chicken whisperer. <laughs> Come here, chicken. Chicken. 
Chicken, call, call my the chicken, call my the chicken. He's gonna peck my dude if he oh, pecks yeah, me. Mouth is open, I will dude. punch that cowboy hat off the fuck of your head, and then I will run because you will whip my ass. <laughs> this little skinny fucking guy would beat the shit out of me. Oh, here we go. Those talons, man. Those talons scare me. Dude, his shit. His great. His great. Let me get him to the wife. The wife can go put him away. Ah, there you go. So now I'm. I'm in. I thought you told me she knows how to handle cock. <laughs> ah, this is this is too easy. <laughs> too easy. Oh, wow. We're still recording. It, it rice itself. But see, yeah. I think I think Tro here is being a little bit too humble. I mean, the guy's a fucking like master drummer. You uh, haven't talked about I, that. I haven't talked about that. So I I have been playing drums since I was six years old. Um, on and off, I've been in a couple kick-ass bands. The last one I was in, I'm very proud of, called Riot Inside. Uh, we were around for about four years. Mm-hmm. Played all over the city, some of the bigger venues, and uh, it was just. Kind of a case of that type of music wasn't really happening at the time. Um, nice. People were starting to get into shoe games. Right, people were starting back. to get into the, the like. Oh, he me, likes you for some reason. Me. All right, all right, chicken. Hey, go. chicken. Oh, I got him. Yeah, I got yeah, him. It's like carrying a football. Yeah. Um, but it's it's cool actually. The 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 intro you guys use is one of our songs. Um, oh, that's right. We never did give you any kind of. Hey, uh, we didn't give you props. Oh fuck, my chair is on fire, man. Oh, you're melting. Careful, dude. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> you're melting. I see. You here, you just sit, up, sit on the I'll see it over here. Sit on the sit on the stump. No, all right. That's what you get for putting more wood on the fire. Um, that's a nice fire, though. Yeah, let's see. I feel Can like get that in the video. I think by the end of the night we're gonna be uh, dancing around shirtless <laughs> with the beer, with man? the rooster. Oh fuck, I did. What the Where's fuck? Mine? What kind oh, of I host are you, bro? So yeah, we use uh we use the song Higher. For the intro, and uh, we recorded a few years back at a studio called Rax Tracks. Um, it's in Lakeview in this, in Chicago, kind of north side, and uh, Ricky Barnes was our engineer producer. Rick Barnes is a great guy, uh, really gave a shit about what we were doing. He's old school, uh, really kicked our ass in the studio, and it turned out it turned out really well. It's actually is on iTunes, it's on uh, Spotify, and if you guys wow, want to so check it out, man. So you're published, man. We're you're, published, you're, we're live, we're, we're, so we're we real actually, deal. We actually got a somebody. Yeah, yeah. Works, man. That's fucking all right. Bro. I'm not a nobody. I'm a somebody. You're a somebody. I'm a somebody. Damn, we're fucking. This is uh, this is pretty damn cool. So yeah, I do that, and uh, I do I do a lot with uh, with charity work. A couple couple of things I'm involved in. There's a charity called Pilot Light. Uh, it's a chef driven organization that I've been doing some kind of guy behind the guy stuff. Um, just ran into a young lady who runs the Halo Foundation on Kansas City, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's a, a charity called the Night Ministry, a charitable group that we work with in the city of Chicago that. Uh, that my professional organization works with. So just trying to stay involved. And, I'm uh, just videoing your cock. Some, that's right. I love it, dude. Help some people out. And uh, and helping you guys here, man. This is, this has been fun. It's been a good opportunity to kind of share some thoughts and ideas and see what you guys want to do with, with Black Sheep Bravo. And I'm, I'm honored and humbled to be a part of it. I'm excited. Um, I've, I've wanted an opportunity to kind of sit with you guys and bullshit and maybe get something recorded. So, so it's wait, been fun. So you, you brought that up. So it brings me to the next point because that was getting a little dry. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep. What? What were you saying? Hey, thanks. So thanks. You were, we were talking a while back about an episode with doing um, <laughs> Johnny Cash. Ta- how about Johnny Cat Taco? Okay? Right, at least making my middle name. J- JTC. So, <laughs> so JTC, we were talking about doing an episode where you come in and mix drinks and we try these like. Yuppie drinks and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell me yeah. About that. Well, well, he was just doing about what you were talking. What kind about of drinks are we today? talking here? So I we're not talking like JMO and, and, and beer. We're talking like mixed fucking drinks. Mixed fucking okay. drinks, dude. So you've probably never had anything like this before, because to you a mixed drink is like whiskey and ice. It is. So, yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's, that's for breakfast. <laughs> 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 no, I uh, you know the, the the big craft cocktail movement has, has been. Uh, you take this. Yeah, you take this. Here, get I'll this. You hold here, get this goddamn chicken out of here, would you? So the craft okay. cocktail movement got started. Uh... No, I don't want that <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> no, here. man. No, I don't want it. Dude, those fucking talons, dude. Dude, you're all right. I don't know. Oh, see, he's pecking at me. Yeah. He's, he's pecking. Yeah. He's pooping on you. I, don't, I, don't I think poop. he shit on me. He think he did shit. No, his talons are sharp. Arm, Ow. Hold him with I, don't, the baby. I don't want to hold him with the baby. Hold I got to take, take care of this <laughs> over here. <laughs> Let me show you. Get that fucking thing out of here. Look at that man. thing, man. He's, he's got a... Oh, he's got a dude, look, he's getting pissed. Look at him. He's, Little he's looking Cyclops at me. He's, he's looking at me. He's getting upset. He's look getting at me. Right, I'm going to be, be quiet. He's worried about his lady. Oh, yeah, that's, you're talking to me or him? Oh, 
Cause, yeah, my bitches, I can't, my face can't be all scratched off on my bitches. Cause, right. you know, they, I, right, I, I'll I need, be back. I need the space. That's how, hey, that's the reason he had to shave, because you threw that chicken in that's his face he, the first time, dude. The, the chicken thought he, it, I had, like, a worm he on talent, my face. He talented his fucking, his mustache rider off. <laughs> I got some good work out of that, though. Some good use out of that mustache. So are you recording this? What are we, we just gotta, what's this thing all about? All right, so. The multimedia. He asked me about the, about the, uh, the cocktail thing, so. The craft cocktail thing got uh, started getting big again in Chicago, probably hell more than ten years ago. Was well, let's just talk like, about the drinks that you 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 make. Well, Where I was just gonna make? I was just telling that story real quick because from that a friend of mine opened a, a spot called Billy Sunday, and that was really my first exposure to that. And it's just I'd never had anything like that before. Um, you might actually, be- one time in in London, the first time I was in London, I went to a place called the London Academy of Bartending, the Lab Bar. And hmm. when you graduate from the lab, you have to make a signature drink. It was a it was a, a menu that was like an inch thick, and it had all the first time I've ever seen all this shit with like vanilla sugar and like honeys and fresh muddled wow. all this yeah, crazy shit going on. Not your typical. No, nah, man. Not I, I mean, I, it wasn't happening out here. That was in like 2002. So after I went to Billy Sunday, I really got inspired trying their drinks and. Looked up a few recipes, but I was like, "Shit, you could just buy all these different bottles." Like, there's a lot more, a lot more uh, unique stuff that's available now. So I started playing around with shit like Pim's Cup and Saint Germain, and you know, different types of. Oh, look at that! We got a refill. I love that. Different types of, of vodkas and bourbons and rums that all have like their own flavor profile. So which so one's nice called the panty dropper? The panty dropper. Is there, I, there is, there is there one? Thing? Is there such a thing? Can we, can we make oh, it work? We, we could, we could make, make one called a panty dropper. Like, you you actually were a bartender. You I were was a bartender in school back in the day. Was there anything? I did. Called, yeah. Did, did you, you know keep that? your clothes on? No, not always. Uh, no. Not always. No, he, he, he worked at a, at a gay bar for a while. Um, <laughs> well, we so knew no, that he, before he came to SWAT. That's yeah. right. Well, hey, that's why I thought I had to. And actually, that was the name of the bar. Anyway, what was it? SWAT. SWAT. No, he he was a bartender at the White Swallow for a long time. Sick white ass and titties. That's what it's doing for. SWAT. Yeah, so, no, I maybe not. So, no, in it. But yeah, uh, yeah. but a panty dropper. That's, that's a was good there name. something called a panty dropper? Never heard of it. Were, no. uh, no, I'm just thinking how how well, do we I... could we could we could yeah, do something. Let's we do this. Do I can give it to my wife for breakfast instead of coffee. There you go, and we'll see if it works. Yeah, I like that. That's a good like are, you, are you on board for that, babe? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Maybe you could give it to Spaniard and see if his panties are out. I'll he yeah, wears he wears ladies' underwear. If he hey enough. Sometimes you got to because you know women nowadays. They, they, they have struggles, and, you know, we, as men, we don't realize what they go through. So sometimes you got to wear a panty here every once in a while just to show so you, you know. never served in the military? I did not. And I, I'm, I'm ashamed because you should be. a, a lot, well, you I'm, I should have went Army. should have went Marines. My brother's in the Air Force. How about that? So he represented that. So, so he is uh, the smart one. He's okay. the khaki dropper. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds hideous. She, she sounds hideous. <laughs> so... <laughs> So you never you never served. So never what's served. your passion for the military? Explain that to me. A lot of my family members were in the military, and uh, I I appreciate the things that that our men in service have done for us. And uh, you know, appreciate I, what I, men have done for you. No, when men have serviced oh, me. Oh, service. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> that's That'd be the Navy. Thank you guys. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> there it is. There um, she is. No, I mean, I I I I wish it was something I had done. I just never. I never did it. I mean, honestly, growing up, my mom was always pushing me to, to go do something academic, to go be a doctor, to go be a lawyer. Oh, oh man, his mom was something else. His man, mom was a piece she's of work. Firecracker, she Italian? No, oh, man. Puerto Rican. Fucking, I'm, not a, I'm sorry. Dude, right. Puerto Puerto Rican. Rican. Come on. Come on. Listen, generic Excuse white me. guy. Don't pick <laughs> on me just because I, I have some unique qualities okay, about my I'll bloodlines. Stop I'll call you taco and I'll call you, uh, what is that stuff at the bottom of the pan, the burnt rice? What's that called? Socorrat. No, the Puerto, Puerto Ricans call that. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Fried right bananas. So fucking something Puerto Rican. We got they, mofongo. We got uh, we got uh, ajos con condule. Uh, we got uh, maybe it's that last one. Say it again. Ajos. Bastard. Ajos con condule. <laughs> hey, I lived in Humble Park for ten years, man. A couple things wore, wore off. No, know? that was West Bucktown. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's how they made me pay multiple hundreds of thousands for a condo. Like, yeah, here's a dumbass. Yeah, yeah here, here's a here's a want to be two two bedroom apartment that is normally three hundred bucks a month. We're gonna sell it to you for eight grand. Oh, what a deal! Yeah, <laughs> it's West Bucktown. You'll love it. You'll love it. So yeah. you were like the the infiltrator. 
Yeah, well, I sure was. With the white wife, man. She they gave well, your her, wife's white? Why are why are why does you? I don't want to say whiter. <laughs> Fuck. <I'll>, whiter. <laughs> Wider. You look like a powder, man. Wider? <laughs> wider. Color? Not wider. I'm going to tell my wife you said that, you son of a bitch. bitch. I haven't seen her, so I wouldn't know. I would, I, I, she, so she, she works out five days a week. I'm sure she looks great. Fuck yeah, she's got pictures. pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got some dirty pictures, too. Let me no, break please. them out. You wish. You wish. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a really good picture of my, my You wife. sound like you could do a really good impersonation of, uh, uh, what is oh, it, the oh. love boat. Oh, boss, you? the plane, the plane, boss. That 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 oh, was not the love boat. That what was the fantasy. Fuck? Oh, fantasy. You know why? Because he doesn't have TV. That's he doesn't right. have cable. There's no fucking internet. There is no. I have nothing. I don't see any fucking like. Are you serious? So are you serious about that? You have no, like. What what are you doing? What what's wrong with you? I masturbate. No, I, I take care of the farm. He takes care of the, no, no, literally. No, 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 I'm looking no, no, around no, no, here. That's, uh, that's all fine and good. You're, I don't see any, like, Why are you getting well, rid of the there's internet? there's that thing up by the house where the satellite just shot it. That's a doohickey. We use that to cook bacon. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, motherfucker? Stunner. Yeah. Look at those calves. Yeah, she's perfect. I was talking problem. about you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see that. <laughs> Yeah, very she nice. Good look yeah, she is. She is. No, we Pretty don't. Girl. We don't have cable. We we disconnected from uh, TV. Fuck. I, I know what you did. I'm asking you why, dude, dude, dude. Because the brain, the waves were like <laughs> filtering. Our tinfoil hat yeah, was getting it wasn't weird. What? Fucking no, waves. it's just, you know what? There's just so much bullshit in the world that. I can keep up with pretty much everything just through my phone. Social media, the news, the AP, the social media. So you're press. full of shit then. You're not really disconnecting. Like, you're still staying connected. You're just, I stay you're connected, just not paying a fucking but I cable, limit though. myself. Limit, I limit my how, volume. How is that limiting? If anything, because having I don't, a fucking... It's not being It's blessed. in your pocket, dude. You can look at it anytime you want. It's What's that? Yeah, That's well, it's fish, for the man. kids, too. All right, so I'll tell you I two reasons. I love the kids. kids two man. reasons. Media... And when I say media, I'm talking television shows, movies, all that bullshit. They fucking inundate. What about radio? Radio too. They yeah. fucking inundate you with bullshit. Like what you, they what they want you to fucking pay attention to, what they want to sell you, what they want you to buy. This is hip because yeah, but that's Kim a, to Kardashian's fat ass is fucking doing this. But that's the whole thing. That's that so did Bob Hope. I was, yeah, you know what I, I was about to say it. Bob. So what's nice about a phone is it's a mini computer. Unlike your television. I can limit what I'm watching. I don't have to watch a commercial. I don't have to watch this and that. I can go and watch the content I want, either YouTube. Yeah, but doesn't that doesn't that limit you though? Like you want to go, you're gonna watch fucking farm videos. Like there's a lot more to life than than. All right, that's that's, fishing shows too. (laughs) Yeah, there's another another neighbor driving down the street, honking at you on a highway. Fucking whoa! (laughs) Wow. That Yikes. would have been impressive. That was a karate move. But yeah. <laughs> if you knock that down with your with your the fist What's of in fury. this course light? Yeah, no shit, man. Yeah, you've gotten heavy. No, man. We we like being disconnected. The only thing we don't fucking like out here. Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> them too, but they're good for yard cleanup. Yeah. Uh, hey. Ooh, uh, leave, leave your cards. So the one thing we don't like about about being out here is the fucking internet, man. You can't get. They want to offer you satellite fucking internet. But if the satellite goes out, you still got to pay for it. So we got 30 gigabytes of data on our phone that we go, I go through in a week. And my wife gets pissed at me. So you don't you don't have like this the survival shed downstairs, and you're not like fuck the world. And I'm oh, he's, he's not gonna, he's, he's not gonna tell you that. No, but I mean I I'm just I'm it's it's more of a curiosity to me like to to, to like, make that conscious choice. Am I like a prepper be, kind of guy? Look at Who's that tree that right. Look at that, look at that tree behind you. You think that that's a very perfect. Perfect yeah, looking tree, true. isn't it? I thought the goat ate around the bottom. Then no, that's a blue spruce. That's but on the outside of the pen for a reason. Yeah. But see, it, that tree moves. It yeah, no, I get it. I get it. And it I comes know back it. down. Right. See, I understand. You see what I'm saying? I know what you're trying to it's say. It's the bat cave? It's like a bat cave. No, but I, I just, I think, I had a friend who, who was a, a very, was very conservative Look at this, politically. related. I'm a bricklayer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, wow, go ahead. Right. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, try to swim across the river, the motherfucker. Let's see you do I that. I can't do that. Because uh-huh. so I want to fish. Because really. I want to fish. <laughs> I can swim, but I want to fish it. Yeah. Um. Uh, man. no, man, no. We we like it out here, man. It's we got one fucking neighbor. They're super nice. They take care of our kids. I don't have to worry anybody breaking in. We're just kind of disconnected from the world. We love it, man. After I left the military in October, I just couldn't deal with people, really. It was just October? October. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. I know. Oh. I mean, I, I just, just in our in our, in our our passing conversations, I didn't realize it was... Yeah, I retired October 31st, 2015. Uh, oh. do you, are you happy with that move, or 
Is it, no, it fucking sucks, man. I yeah. want to be Sergeant Major of the Army so I can keep holding people fucking accountable because we got all these pussies in the military right now, yeah. especially in leadership roles. So, so, so what? I mean, so that's interesting to me. I, 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 I'm not in the military. Like all of all of the things that I see, to your point, are filtered by media. And I know everybody shits on liberal media. And, and there goes and another neighbor. <laughs> another neighbor. I love that. That's so great. People shit on no uh, on liberal media and, and right. its control and everything. But number one, to me, it always has been like. So, so this this conservative friend of mine was like, you know, it was just so much better when there was just like ABC, NBC, and CBS, and, I agree. and that was the right. New- Talk about being able to shove whatever the fuck they wanted down your throat and yeah, make you I'm swallow like- it and love it. I'm that's talking what like they 1970. Did. Yeah, but talk about control, dude. They told you whatever the fuck they wanted. Like that's that's what blows my mind. Yeah, now you can I guess see you got a point. You got a million channels. Like you can choose. I mean, I've heard Al Jazeera is one of the best unfiltered news sources in the world. I don't watch it, but I've heard that. And I don't, you know, people hear that the name. The only go, oh. unfiltered to the Americas. Yeah. The best mm-hmm. news station in the world is by far the AP, the Associated Press, and the BBC. And if you're listening and you're active duty or you're a veteran or you're National Guard or Reserves or civilian, you're a shit stain living in your mom's basement, whatever the case may be. If you're gonna watch the news. I would mm-hmm. I would recommend the AP and the BBC as your two go to. Al Jazeera can be all right at times if you're looking for like European news, but anything swayed on the American public can be biased. Dude, no. what's what's going on with your goat, man? It's fucking tripping out over there. They are oh, they're just he's headbanging me. Yeah, yeah, that's what they do. That's, that's, that's their instinct. So the black one. Look at that. Whoa. They're fighting. Hey, they're fighting. All right, I got it. Let's make this a fucking betting game, Alan. I'll take uh, oh, no. three bucks on the white one. So Sox is the white one. That's the son of the black one. Ah. But okay. the owner... The Fuck owner, you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I got the two goats from the same people. Where's the mom? Mom, he's got some explaining to do. Yeah. She's in the oven. Uh, <laughs> uh, McGruff is the one, the black one. That's the dad. I got them both from the same people, but they had the Sox, the younger one, the white one. And this deep, one's got, this one's got a squirrel? That's my dog. Yeah, he's he's fucking retarded. Boomer. So I got. I, I can't. I can't. I cannot tell a lie. The last news source I expected you to quote, guy in a cowboy hat on the farm, was fucking BBC. Was BBC and uh, and uh, the AP and the AP. Well, the AP. That's pretty ubiquitous. But BBC. That's impressive. Well, you have to. I mean, and, and even all right. So to be all fair, and my wife will tell you too. I'm kind of a fucking psycho with it. I wake up at like 4 a.m. and I check them all. CNN, Fox, ABC, CBS, blah, 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 blah. On your phone. I check all all the American networks and Al Jazeera, BBC, and the AP. You have to. Because somebody is intentionally deflecting a story somewhere or downplaying it for, for whatever reason. Well, get this. And this was just brought up the other day well, with my wife. Check this. Uh, check this out. Excuse me while I whip this out. No, please. That shooting that just occurred the other day, not one mention of it. Not one mentioned on the news until it was like until, 5,000 of them. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. <laughs> that was Tuesday in Chicago. You know, because we were just talking about this the other day. You know what? Now, now it's funny. You won't find a fucking shooting out here but maybe once a year. So you ask why I live on a farm? It's not common out here because we all carry pistols. Well, there's also nothing to shoot out here. Like, why would I want to come out here and fucking cause problems? There's nothing to cause problems for. Well, no. Nobody's going to come down the road here and do a home invasion. Yeah. Because they know they're going to get blashed off my fucking No, front they're porch. just like, why would I want to invade a fucking... And while the cops are cleaning up their body, I'm going to cook bacon and I'm going to go feed my chickens. Yeah, that's a shit argument. Well, but I'm, I'm, I kind of see where you're going with this, though. In the it's city, it happens anyway. Though. No, you know what? You know, like like people say, like everybody needs to be armed. Then, you know what we should have instead of seatbelts? And, I, and I, I read this somewhere a long time ago, but I, I love this, this, reads, this analogy. This guy's fucking... You know life. what we should have in, instead of seatbelts is a fucking spear sticking out of the out of the... Out of your uh, steering, steering wheel. wheel. That'll keep you in your seat. That'll keep you in your seat, and then I'll keep everybody driving the speed limit <laughs> and everybody real fucking careful. But it's the same. It's the same. It's an analogy for everybody's. Everybody's arm. Wait, the spear. The spear is, is pointed right at your fucking heart. Your chest. Oh wow. Okay, that's fucking. No they should do that for like underwear for men, so don't cheat on their wives. Put like little spikes in there. No. There's a website for that, dude. Mm-hmm. You want to check it out? No, no. Oh. Really? Let's Never check mind. it out. Let's, let's yeah. After the after the show, we'll uh, we'll, we'll, we'll that, key there. Key did that you up. see what Pornhub did on uh, on uh, April Fool's Day? No. This was probably your. This is probably what you were jerking off to. <laughs> they turned it on. They turned it into Cornhub. Cornhub. And it was literally like all fucking corn videos and corn shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> man, I missed that. Yeah. Farmersonly.com oh, does that man. 365 days a year. Where are you at? There's son? my PSA. Woo! There's my PSA for Farmers Only. Yeah. <laughs> 
damn. I never nice. knew that. Yeah. Anyway. So speaking of PSAs, um, definitely want to give some love again to Dark Style for the fest coming up. Yeah, I know. Is, is that is that going to be in Chicago, the Chicago no, area, or is that in uh, the East Coast? Man, if, it's a, if it's a fest he's talking about, it's fucking what? Like Toby Keith and you know, it's in Antioch. They they hit Blarney Island and they they do a big fest, man. It's a sounds like a bunch of Blarney to me. Uh, oh, sorry. Ooh. When is that? Frown. I'll pull it up real quick. Yeah, I have to pull it up. Nah, we'll yeah. Pull it up. We'll pull it up. Nah, don't worry about it. Think but I see like, it. I, I see it on face it. page, it FaceTube all the time, and we'll have to make sure we have to coordinate with those, so with those speak, guys. So speaking of that shit, that's funny. What's funny? What's so funny? Your face. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. No, you I'm see sorry. Me, you see me I'm fucking so, laughing? No, you're not laughing. I'm sorry. I'm What's sorry. so funny? Right? That's not funny. So look, let me finish. Let me, can I finish? Let me finish. I'm finishing. Um, you, you talked about being connected. You talked about, you know, you're mentioning uh, in, in, in the comedic way, social media. I'm 41 years old. Damn. And Old motherfucker, man. How do you I'm not sorry. have any hair? <laughs> how like, you, you you got, might, how do I have hair? hair? Is the question? Dude, he's got, got some real nice hair. Like, everything else looks like smooth. If you guys never met Nick, met, met, he looks like fucking Ricky Ricardo with the fucking hair pumping. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Look at that pumping. Hey, Latin heat. The, the okay, hey, bring the heat. Cosito, man. Hold on. Fuego. Here comes the fuego. Hold on. That's it. No, I mean, I we grew up in a strange time when. You know, when I was in college, the internet literally was like really just starting to explode. And now with social media, I understand elements of it. I utilize elements of it. But man, like your kids are probably steeped in that shit and tweeting and posting and all of these things that, yeah. you know, you talked about it. Like what a drag Facebook could be because all, all the shit that people are talking about. Dude, I got to be time, honest. I don't give a fuck about 98% of the shit that's on Facebook. I really don't. Give no, a fuck. But, 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 but I'm addicted to it. That's the thing. I hear you, and that's what's fucked up. So before I forget about Drunk Fest 2, it's July 30th to July 31st in Blarney Island, 27, 760 Grass Lake Road, Antioch, Illinois. Antioch. Who's playing? They got all kinds of shit going on. You should see the pictures from last year. Well, that, that last year's show doesn't fucking make well, dude, It's only going to get better. It's drunk style you're talking about. Dude, these guys don't fucking What kind them. of music is this? We'll oh, they got both kinds. Yeah, yeah I mean, country and anyway. <laughs> right. No, so no, they those guys will put the up social the media. Show. You know, I that's what I was talking about earlier before we started recording was how I find it. You know, I was watching a movie last night with the wife and and uh, Debbie Does Dallas. Yeah, that too. And, you know, what? I've uh, never seen that movie. Me neither. Yet. My old man had a video tape. I remember we seeing it. Right. Do a critique episode. Just we should on that fucking movie. watch it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So and next who, episode we'll critique Debbie Does Dallas. We'll watch. We'll we'll have it up. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll wear we'll wear paper it. underwear, and whoever gets a boner gets tossed. Yeah, that's a great idea. Not on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, he will toss you off. If yeah, you get yeah, a yeah, right. Oh, See, fucking crash. I do my dog. So we're watching this movie. Fucking dog knows. So we were watching this movie, and sure enough, like, they're doing the 8 millimeter movie with their kids and, you know, recording their events and enjoying the moments with their kids. And like you had said, uh, John, uh, was, it's funny how you go to a... It sounds recital. very condescending. John. John. Uh, was, you go to a recital now, and you look around the room, and all the fucking parents have fucking camera phones out, or the iPads, or a fucking MacBook Air, you know, like... Not recording. watching the show, they're watching through their little five-inch screen. And it'll go what? You were saying earlier, it'll, it'll end up where... And it's, it's, yeah, it ends that up, that, that was, the, that was the, I believe, the Louis C.K. bit, where he said it ends up, it was a Louis C.K. bit, and he, he said it ends up on the internet. It, it, you know, people don't even watch it themselves, they post it on Facebook, and he was saying, like, oh, you don't even watch your own boring-ass video, you post it... For, to make me watch your boring shit, and I'm not going to watch it either. All I'll do is comment on how adorable it is. But it, but it, so it's, it's a 25 minute video, but two minutes after it's posted, somebody's already said, "Oh my god, what a great video!" Yeah, you know, like so nobody nobody's, watches nobody's that watching shit. that shit. I mean, it, I don't you know. know what I find funny though is like you watch some of the pages on social media, and if a chick's half fucking naked, she's got. 400, 500 <laughs> likes in five minutes, you know, because sex sells. Sure. Yeah. But then you have a buddy that lives down the road that can't feed his family that's doing a GoFundMe page. He's got $2 in the account after three months. But part of that part of that to me is... And, and, delivery and, or... What's that? Is, it, is part of it delivery or what's... No, the, I, I don't mean, think people don't get... They, 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 it's not even that, dude. You know what? I think people are skeptical. I mean, to me, that's the guy in the city 
begging for money. Like, I don't know if this shit is. How many of these GoFundMe pages oh, you have turned out to be bullshit? Yeah, you got it's tough. If it's a guy you know and you tell me, hey, man, this dude, this dude is my neighbor that lives three miles away. And that's my only neighbor in, in town here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's my closest neighbor. So if you need to borrow sugar. But that's a fucking I don't know. Ten mile drive. Yeah. Right. I don't know if that's if that's real unless you're telling me about it. So I think I think that's part of the issue. Um, and you said, yeah, sex sells, all that stuff's fun. I mean, but it's it's Who like to see tits. That, hey, <laughs> even <laughs> tits, tits yeah. like tits. I mean, it's great. Wow. Um, That'll end an argument real quick. Show me your tits. Wow, that's funny. Your wife just got up and left. Right. <laughs> wow. That wasn't a request or yeah. anything. It was just. Ah, we didn't mean. I, I was kidding. Hey, Albie, I was kidding. Here comes the cops. Yeah. No. Sorry. No, they're down the road, man. They're dealing with all the bikers today. Yeah, that's crazy shit. But, but yeah, yeah, but I think I think I kind of know where you're going with this. Some people, I think they they're conscious. They they don't want to feel guilted, so they just oversee it when they see that. But I know what you're talking about because there's a guy that used to be, uh, you know, let's just pick a, a street corner, a busy street corner that has a sign that says, you know, uh, homeless, homeless not even veteran. It says homeless need you know uh, need food. You go over there and buy the guy a, a Happy Meal or something or a combo meal, and you give it to him. They're like, oh, I don't want this. I'm like, well, you said your sign says you're hungry. Here, man, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you some food. Right. No, because man, I, I need money. It. Yeah, exactly. You know, but, so that's but, what that's what bullshit. The, and it goes I, right back to what I was just saying about homeless veterans. Yeah. And I'm not saying that against the veteran community. Obviously, being a veteran myself. I think myself, people feel jaded. But no, it's fucked up because you'll hit a street corner and you'll see the guy. So we're both veterans, me and uh, Spaniard. We'll see a guy with a homeless veteran sign. So we're compelled. But then you get out of the car and talk to the fucking guy. He's not even a vet. You can tell him like five fucking minutes. The guy never served in his life. It's like the beginning of uh, 48 Hours. Yeah, man, I was in, uh, you know, Zang Bang. Yeah, and, uh, Poon Tang. Uh, yeah. I was all up in that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. it's like the underwater ninja sapper. And you're like, dude, shut the fuck up. You know, you, you yeah. see him at the bar. You see him on a street corner. Everybody's plagiarizing that. And then even on the civilian side, you see it too. It's like people plagiarizing the GoFundMe's, you know. So it's. I, I can see why people pass some of that stuff up, but when I see somebody I know, like, I have ten friends in common, like, right now, and I don't see any names. Four of those girls are thirsty. Every other day, they're half fucking naked. Boobs are hanging out, or they're in a bikini or something. They got fucking 3,000 likes. They're friends with the same people, or some of the same people I am, and they know somebody in common that's got a GoFundMe page up because, like, two weeks ago... The one guy's house burnt down, wife, kids, everything. Well, you think she has that attention or that following. Yeah, I, she I, would I, use that to help somebody that we both grew up with. Yeah. And they don't. So to me to pass and, and not be able to click on a GoFundMe and donate five dollars, I get it. There's some months I can't do it. But this is But this if is, I have a sphere of influence to help that. See, but this is this is funny to me from from a political standpoint. And and you know, with, with the current elections going, you know, you, you've seen a lot, a lot of success on the Sanders side and the socialism thing. Everyone's talking about that. And everyone's talking that like those, those messages are resonating. Don't burn. And don't people, for, vote for Bernie. <laughs> don't vote for Bernie. Feel the burn. No. I'm burning my crotch. Yeah, throw you in the fire. <laughs> you want to feel the burn? What? <laughs> Motherfucker, come here. Yeah. Give me a taco. I'll make you a taco. <laughs> taco. Um, it's an no, but self taco. But uh, I, there's a whole, there's a whole history there. But uh, I thought you were going with Ojefe. I, I am going to right. call happy, but, but, but fucking shit kicker here decides to call me uh, the taco. Um, <laughs> That's racist. Go, go figure. <laughs> but no, he's he's talking about a GoFundMe page, and it, it's funny from a political standpoint. Like I, I, I've seen people who won't help there, but they're fighting for the fifteen dollar minimum wage. Yeah, they're fighting for the like, oh, these, these people do need help. That's just, what it is. Second, of the population, but the people's priorities are fucking skewed. I mean, they. I, that's what it is. I think so. And I then they're, so. They're, I mean, they're being guilted and thinking, I'd rather not look at this page or like this page because someone's asking for help. I'd rather just show my tits and get a bunch of likes for me. It's about me. In this, in this day and age, yeah, but that's what all this social it's media the era of it, me. But, it, but, but it, it's funny because with social media, what's interesting to me is that it's cool because it gives people vo- a voice, mm. but it's not cool because it gives people a voice. And some of these people don't. Need to be voicing their shit. Because I mean, they're not, fucking stupid. I'm not even talking about. Oh god, oh, PBR. PBR. Wow, dude, you're on the farm. Welcome yeah, to my life. Coors Light and PBR. Wow, I didn't know you were a hipster. Bro. This segment of Black Sheep brought to you, see, brought that's, you that's by. Up. I hate that the hipsters have fucking stolen our beer. Coors Light, PBR, and Old Style. It's a hillbilly thing. 
The only Not reason, anymore, bro. Dude, that same thing with the fucking guys who go in the city. They're in skinny jeans with a lumberjack beard, but they've never chopped a fucking piece of wood in their life. Right? Whatever. You have a beard. You're wearing dark glasses and skinny jeans right now, dude. These are not skinny jeans. You have Those skinny jeans. I can... They're, they're, got holy, they're, holy. Dude, they're they got cow shit on them, chicken shit on them, duck shit on them. Dude, you could sell those on eBay for big money right now. People are paying. <laughs> look at those rips. You, you didn't... You ripped... You took a razor blade and made those yourself. You dude. know what bothers me about hipsters? Everything? <laughs> <laughs> Their that smell? It's like... So I go to a country music concert because it's something... A music choice I like. They show up because it's... For lack of a better term, sorry, but to be hip, they follow that. They follow <laughs> that took that. a lot of thought process yeah, there, Crash. Don't hurt yourself. Ooh, I'll don't tell you me. what, boy. Them hipsters think they're hip. Yeah. And they're trying to be hip. I'll no, tell you what. Listen, they think it's like the cool thing to drink PBR. It is the cool thing to drink PBR. Well, I drink it because it fucking tastes good, not because it's the cool thing. And because it's fucking It's on cute. sale. Yeah, it's always on sale. <laughs> Dude, I can go down to the local fucking post office, which is also the grocery store in town, is which that, is also the fucking cop station, is which that, is also the local elementary school, and I can get me a six-pack of PER for $2. Do they sell organic produce at your, at your grocery store? I grow that right there next to the chicken coop. <laughs> do you use product? Do like you, hair product? What the fuck yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> Look, at farmers Dude. don't use product. <laughs> oh, shit. I know. That was, that was kind of fucked Jason up. That's my Jason Statham. I think that no, chick, she went it's... crazy on me the other day. Oh. Yeah, I think, I think I don't know. Did I don't you know. ask look... for the military high and tight? That's I did. Great... I did. But I, I said, I want to leave the top alone a little bit so I can grow it. But I, I, I think she was attracted to me. That's what it was. It's the Latin heat, brother. She was the Latin heat. Yeah. I can tell oh, you know why. Why? Because that fade sucks. Does it suck? <laughs> yeah. Oh. The only reason I went for the bald head was because I needed something. Like I that. went for the bald head. Because cause nature deemed it so, motherfucker. That's why you went. I'm go over here and pee and ignore this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but going back to the whole entitlement generation, I guess you want to call it. There's sure. hipsters and whatnot. Thank and again, I'm not... I'm not a hateful guy all the time, but it, when I do. It, it does. It does kind of piss me off a lot when when I, I'm seeing these, especially at gas stations. For some reason, I gotta I gotta muster up the fucking I don't know energy, discipline to not want to fucking just kick some drop kick somebody when they're at the gas station. You pump your gas and you get the fuck out. Why are these people sitting there chatting on their phone, texting? I'm waiting to get to the gas, you know, to the fucking pump. Move your ass. Why? Look behind you. There's a fucking lot of people here waiting for gas, and you're sitting on your goddamn phone. Well, you said it yourself. It's it's it. it everybody has become so self-important. So that was the point I was making. Um, before the, off before second. the PBR. Yeah, pre pre PBR. Um, Ooh, that out. that Hold totally on, gave me a boner. Keep going. Keep going. Um, it's, it's, stop watching me kiss my wife. Dude, that's hot. <laughs> It's, I got it some, actually, some, it, it some of the moved. spank bank leader. Yeah, I got, is, I got half a cob right now. What's bro. funny is verbatim <laughs> the same thing when I was putting the chickens away. Yeah, well, hey. I'm <laughs> verbatim, fucking, literally. I'm easy. Dude. The what same thing. Half don't, a cob. I like don't that. take much. That is a good term. Half a cob. I've never heard that before. Yeah. Fucking Spaniard learned something new. Muy bien, muchacho. Yeah. Yeah. El jefe has taught el Spaniard something. Is your uh, foreskin touching fabric over there? Fucking right, right dude. I don't So, no, I was saying that the thing about about all the social media and I'm not t- just talking about about Facebook and, and Twitter and things of that nature is you, you had you you mentioned that it, it's the me generation it's very self-important it gives everybody a voice and that's the best thing about the internet and that is the fucking worst thing about the internet because now you can anonymously post whatever bullshit vile garbage you want or make something important or make a statement or a stance like movements have been created I mean or post a picture of your kids playing soccer or, you know, but they're, or they're reciting little... something, yeah. recitals. So, but like I, nobody well, gives a shit about your kids. But, but when, <laughs> you gotta, did you ever? There's an old page about kids. I'm just fucking saying nobody gives a fuck. There's a, there's a stop, please stop it. I don't want to see your kids. No, but I, I, I think post pictures stutter. of my kids, but it's like yeah, I don't look at those. I don't want fucking the, pedophiles looking at them either. So they're very. I don't do it all the time. Like I want to be on social media. I want to see. Shit. What you fucking do? Drink it off. Of I want to see like, I want to see shit about fishing and fucking porn or fucking what? the military or whatever. Fishing porn in the fishing military. Porn. You're fishing a, porn in the military. You're a simple man, Par. God, how do you how do you filter that on the Google search? 
fishing, fishing porn military. Or fishing no, what, military I was, what I was going to say, though, it, it, something like Yelp is, it, is what comes to mind. All of a sudden, everybody thinks they're a, a critic. fucking critic. Yeah, right? they're, they're a restaurant critic. Gen- like, and the best thing is, like, oh, I give, I give fucking Pars Farm one star because all they had was PBR there. That's bullshit. Or, or the guy was wearing a cowboy hat. So, that's so obnoxious. People don't stop to consider... The bigger picture. They just want to make their voice heard. They want to spit their fucking. Yeah, there's so many people. Wanna... Yeah. That, that, that's why I think that's why. And now I know why you came out to the farm. Dude, get away from you. You get away from because you know you know what? Farm. Yeah, I didn't come out. <laughs> I'm at the farm. Um, no, but it, it does. So like the other day on the way to the radio station, uh, I, I was on my way to meet you, uh, Spaniard, and this lady was behind me in a white Mercedes SUV. And was she it hot? didn't. No, she was fucking nasty. She was a fucking con sucker. Mm. And it didn't matter what she looked like. It didn't matter what she was driving. It's just she's this white pompous bitch who like got along the side of me. How do you know, dude? I'm fucking white. I can judge. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's good. He's got a talent though. He could, he could know if you're pompous. I know or my not. people. <laughs> so she got next to me and gave me like this look, and I know what it was. The sticker on the back of my truck says. God, guns, and bacon, America. The other bumper sticker says, I'd rather be killing terrorists. The other one says, dysfunctional infidel. And I have a pro Second Amendment support sticker there. I know what the issue was. But instead of, like, just fucking going around me, she gave me this fucking look. And that's the same. And I'll stereotype it all day long. Yeah, but dude. That's the same individual that's on Yelp saying, I get this hot dog. One star because it was missing a tomato seed. Like, no big as a fuck, you fat bitch. You live in Naperville, Illinois. Who would eat a hot dog without a tomato seed? Anyway? See, you're from Come Chicago. On. Yeah, he's from Chicago. You're from the yuppie neighborhood. <laughs> See, that's why we West Bucktown, everybody. West Bucktown representing hey, you. Joshua. West Bucktown, yeah. <laughs> This wasn't Humble Park. I had Puerto Ricans. I was surrounded by Puerto Ricans, but it was not Humble Park. Yeah, so nothing but salsa, salsa and fucking Sasson all over the Yeah, air. yeah. I was like, Salsa? Fucking Sasson. Sasson, man. That's Sasson, no, Lechon. I'm talking the salsa music. That's Sasson. All no, right, dude, so no, 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 no. It was, it was fucking... It didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen the As last... soon as it went above 70 degrees. <laughs> so what we missed on the last episode, I talked about asking a question. Whoever could answer it first would be invited to our June 11th pig roast. Yeah. And it'd be a, a private invitation because I don't want 500 fuckers here, especially the ones I don't know. <laughs> so my question to the audience, and the first one to answer correctly on Facebook to Albert Crash Parr's Facebook page, will be invited out to the, the Hog Roast June 11th live music. Bring the kids, bring the wife, bring a boyfriend. I don't care what you bring. Is it going to be reggaeton? No reggaeton. It's going to be, oh, uh, the, the music's actually by Zach Wasoko. The live band's actually Zach Wasoko, and I'm hoping Britt Signal will come out. He's both great, amazing artists. But... Are they Daddy Yankees cover band? No. I, I kind of went ahead, and I booked this band. They're really good. They're called Oedipus and the Mama's Boys. I no. think you're going to love them. No, they're going to they're they're be great. <laughs> <They're coming. laughs> so Seriously. my question... So my question to the audience. Here's the question. Finally, the first ask, one ask the fucking question already, The first man. one they can get it right, and I'll even ask John and Spaniard here and see what they they come up with. <laughs> How many teeth do a chicken have? <laughs> wait, 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 English major. <laughs> How many teeth do a chicken have? What, what are you from, a... Harvey, or what? <laughs> Dude, I gotta happened? keep it on point. We're on a farm. All right, no. so for my, wait, 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 for wait, my wait. northern that's folk... A, that's a trick question. How many teeth do a chicken have? So, uh, so my for, for my northern friends, does, does, how many teeth does a chicken oh, okay. have? Hey, man, how many teeth <laughs> do, do a chicken have? So hey, answer man. the question, John. Your guess. Uh, No teeth. Your guess? One. That little pecking John, thing you're in invited the f- to the hog roast. Yeah! Uh, I get to eat the pig, boy. So that doesn't count because <laughs> I just answered the question. So now to question number two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, fuck you, I'm invited. He's already invited. Yeah. Do you need... No, here's the real question to the audience. Do you need a rooster to have a chicken? Or to have an egg? Do you need a rooster to All have right. an egg? Fuck, I'm how not many beers have I, I had? had. I All right, that. so let me start over, English major. <laughs> I wasn't English major. He was. It was, so, was a English so, major. Let me start over. Taco. <laughs> Do you need a rooster for a hen to have an egg? Ladies and gentlemen, that is for you to answer. And if you get that question right, you can come to this shit kicker barbecue. <laughs> What's it called? A pig roast? A hog, hog roast? roast. Yeah, shit what the fuck's 198 now? pound hog in live music. Yeah, great. You got to have a dip in your mouth. Yeah, you, you got to have, have cowboy boots. And uh, you, you, you got to be lighter skinned than me, apparently. And a, and a straw hat hey, of some sort. Many of our listeners will find that to be a good time. 
And oh, ladies will be in Daisy six. Dukes and fucking bikini tops. Yeah. Like oh, right now you're talking. Now, no, now, you're now, talking all, now all the northern people want to come. You're talking the northern people. people. You northern people confuse me. I love Daisy so, Dukes. So it's funny though. Like you're back to your story about the girl. Now, in her defense. Yes. Hey, you guys want some more wood? No, no. What are you gonna whip good? out your cock? I got enough. You got you. Uh, what were you driving in a pickup truck? Oh, I was in my pickup truck, yeah. So you're in a pickup truck with all these crazy bumper stickers. No, there's not a lot of them. There's fucking three. And they're not crazy. Yeah, they're okay, not crazy. Okay, that's, that's a they're lot just, they're by descriptive. any... So that's a one, lot by any... No, that's a lot by any fucking standard. The one three is my company stickers. logo, God Guns Bacon America. And the other one is I'd rather be killing terrorists. Well, fuck yeah. you. Who wouldn't find know, that bumper I sticker? I know what they say because you told me. But and you t- Come on, man. <laughs> so, well, we're, it's just God's country. Well, that's right. We're yeah, shit. Right. We're, we're not I'm inside. Gonna shit, you know, yeah. I'm going to shit my pants. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I just, oh. I literally just shit. I had white castles. I shit into my pants. I had white castles. Thank you for earlier. Thank you for white castles. He shared right. the right. so, so, Don't talk. Don't talk. The mice, the mouse head is about to, to, to breathe. Shut up. Shit. So, so, so. I'm going to shit right here in my pants. If I, if I drove by. You're going to teach my dog bad habits. <laughs> Even he shits in the yard. Go rub your ass on the goat cage. <laughs> yeah. I'm go so if right I now. drove by a pickup truck and the dude driving was wearing a big white shit kicker fucking cowboy hat like you, I would give you the same fucking look, dude. I'd be like, this guy wants to kick my ass because I'm Mexican. <laughs> no, what if I no, just want to buy you a taco and love you? <laughs> I'll take you home and, and cut my grass. You. And love you. you Jack, I'm going to take you home and cut my grass. <laughs> now look here, Pedro. You can have this here taco. But you're going to have to earn it. <laughs> you're going to have to cut my grass. This motherfucker. No, just so, so. And you ain't going to ride the damn lawnmower. You're going to do the You know what's one. great about the military, and this is why I love the military, is you can have 18 different fuckers from different places and different regions and geographical areas yeah. in one barracks on the same floor, right? Hot one ass. guy's never met a black guy in his entire fucking life. Literally. One guy's right? never fucking had a taco in his life. One guy grew up in a fucking Mormon household, like 18 fucking moms or whatever the fuck they do. And then <laughs> and then you have me, the hillbilly, we're like, fucking let's drink PBR. Then you he- all got something to bring to the table. Taco, you can make food. <laughs> <laughs> Token, you can catch some catfish for us to eat for dinner. Token. You know, like, everybody's got something to bring to the table. That's why I love the military. Yeah. Well, so so the flip side of that story is, is and I, I mentioned this to him on the way up here, you know, Having met you, and and obviously there's there's some political differences, and there's but I can have that discussion with you. Yeah, absolutely. And I we could talk about this. Yeah, yeah but I'll joke around about it. But I'm sure, sure. And we and we would, you know, we may disagree, and there's probably some shit we're like, wow, we're on the same page yeah, with that. Yeah, absolutely. But that's, and, and what do you think my political views are? Real quick? I would assume you're Republican or at least left. Excuse me, right? Uh, well, yeah, that's. That's ridiculous. I had to leave man. the party, man. They're, they're fucking full of shit. So I, I'm now, I'm, I'm voting for a libertarian, Gary Johnson. What? Great, great guy. I'm going to cut off your Johnson. No, man. You, you, so, so real quick, I know we don't have much time left. We have eight, about eight minutes. But so everybody's all about Bernie Sanders and all the promises. Fuck Bernie. Bernie's a washout. He's not going to make it past the shuffleboard game on the fucking deck of the fucking <laughs> Caribbean cruise he's going on. <laughs> he's fucking 80 years old. Trump's got some great ideas, but he's fucking well, nuts. Shady, shady he's also got is... a lot of shit ideas, too. And then mm-hmm. Hillary, holy fuck, I'd rather shove a tampon in my fucking ear with a razor blade than listen to her fucking talk for a minute. Well, wait, I'm trying to picture that. Yeah, a please tampon, don't. A tampon. But Gary Johnson comes in the picture, ear. he's like, hey, I support closing a border, but why build a wall 11 foot tall? They're just going to get a 12 foot ladder. How about we do it the right way and open the border for them to work first strike they're out? Awesome. They pay taxes too. Great. Hey, I'm about legalizing marijuana because it's going to help somebody with uh, whatever they got going on medically. Great. You know. Speaking it's... of which, man, I'm going to roll up here real quick. Here. That's out in the bar. I'm just kidding. So, you know, you start talking about that stuff and you look at a guy like Gary Johnson who's saying all the right things but will never be considered because he's third party. And that's fucked up with our country. It is. And, you know, I... I... Maybe a, a year ago, I would have been like, "Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Yeah, that guy, that guy could could really resonate." But then Trump won the fucking Republican. Like that tells me that there's a lot more. Like everyone's like, "Oh, he just I just like him because he says what's, what's on his mind." Bullshit. Shit. If He's I were to say fucking, shit on my mind, I mean, I'd be arrested most that's of the time. That's what I mean. The guy, the guy's a fucking asshole. He's a racist. Like he's he. They're all that racist, tells, though. That's what's funny. I think all of them. If you look at any anybody, anybody in the political realm. Minus maybe two percent. I 
has a racial issue somewhere. The Democratic Party, for example, thrives on, excuse me for burping with my PBR, thrives on the the lower class, the whatever you want to call it, because it well, doesn't who exist was, anymore. Who is, who is that? Wait, hold on. Who's calling? What's what going do you mean on? Lower what's class going? doesn't exist anymore. Wait, what's going on? Over? Lower class exists. The Democratic Party wants people to believe that there's racial divide. Oh, nice. There's not. There's totally fucking racial divide, dude. You've been, to, so? Chica- you've been to Chicago lately? Who's it's our president? Segregated... Who's our president? Yeah, Barack what, Obama. What nationality is he? He's Kenyan. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he's an, Afri- he's an African-American president. That is hilarious. Uh-oh. What What's happened that? there? It's a video. Uh, oh. we'll, have to, we'll have to try to... We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the presidency later. Yeah. Because that's a whole different... That's, that's, a, whole, that's a whole show. That's a whole freaking show. And we got Debbie does... this. Yeah, I saw it rips your fucking hair out. What is that? Don't put don't put corn on the cob on a drill. It'll rip your fucking hair out. Oh, so, you got to see this. So real quick. Oh no. Before we talk, even even if we do talk about the presidential election, which I don't even really want to talk about. <laughs> so terrible. John, focus. I'm listening. Yeah. Fuck Taco. Me. Yeah. Taco. Yeah. Can I have two? <laughs> so, real quick. Damn, before we even Damn, that was the face. He was about to fucking. Before we even discuss the presidential election, we still have to get over the next episode for Debbie Does Dallas. We have to yeah, critique it. We can do it. And I want to critique that that movie not only from the porn standpoint, but like social, like friendship. Social? Inter- yeah, social. 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 I want to critique it from a social <laughs> standpoint. I think it's a very important work on culture in America. But I want to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new guest. His name is Sun Tzu. <laughs> Sun Tzu, very <laughs> impressive. With, there are so many things about the Debbie Duff Darius that you need to focus. No, we need to do the... <laughs> Holy fuck. You guys are doing... a little up boy, all grown up. No. up boy. You're interrupting the show. Oh, man. yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey babe. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> when I'm doing my show, I told you, get the fuck, get in the house. Get in the fuck, I will deal with you later. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the hillbilly coming yeah. out, man. I, no, I really, I want to, I want to. No stinky shit kicking I wanna, motherfuckers. I want to critique the whole movie, like, from every angle possible. I have a fucked up memory of Debbie Dust Dallas. <laughs> I just, we I gotta was, do it. I was six years old. My father, my father was a porn dad. He had all kinds of. He fucking had a great, creepy shit. Great oh, library. dude, he had, a, he had a fucking library. You name it, he had We're going to wrap this up with this, John, so finish your story. No, we're not wrapping this no, up. No, we're no. going we're gonna to roll, dude. This is worth it. Uh, he, his dad was there. His dad was there watching with him, and, and there was some moaning and groaning and, and whipping going on. They had it really loud, but if you remember, we live in a quad, so it was, like, open. Yeah. So you can yeah. hear everything going on, and I was like, and they're like, well, you can't, you can't watch. They're sitting there watching it together. Who's this? It was, a whole, it was, my, it was a bunch of dudes. Mexican. His dad and his grandfather. Yeah, they were Mexicans, <laughs> you asshole. I can see a bunch of Mexicans doing this. Hey, let's sit around and oh, watch yeah, all, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. We I do that shit alone. It was the seventies. Oh, so anyway, we, we we so nobody shaved either. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> everybody nobody balls, manscaped. Everybody's balls looked like your beard. Dude. It was crazy. <laughs> so we fucking. I walked through, and I was like, "What kind of movie are you watching?" He was my my grandfather goes, "Oh, mijo, she did something really bad, so they had to give her a spanking. She spilled <laughs> coffee all over his papers." And I'm like, <laughs> "What? What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man?" My other favorite that my dad rented from Video Rama, the video store on State Street. Dude, that motherfucker had Ken Chan the laundry man out all the time. I was like, Ken Chan the laundry man. It was a fucking porn with, with an Asian so dude. So what's your dad's was... name? My dad's name was John. John uh, what? It's for President 2016. <laughs> Guys, we'll catch you next week. We love you. John, thank you so much for visiting us with us today. Thank you. Yeah, this I, had is a, nice. I had a good time. I uh, can actually see the fun. stars. This is a beautiful place. You I can actually there. see the stars. Shut up. That's fucking Shut that's up. great. Dude. I mean, how, come on. It's on me to play the dumb fucking There is no stars. No, no you don't nice. have to play. <laughs> yeah, he got me all wet. But hey, ooh, and me too. I'm but that was, just, that was just from here to his voice. But hey, thank you guys. This has been a great opportunity. Well, wait, wait. And, uh, there's no, there's no to, need to say thank you. You're part of the show, man. You're our producer, yeah, so uh, right. you're kind of the boss. So we're gonna like kind of kiss your ass a little. Bit. Nice. I like that. I like that. Well, guys, we'll catch you next week on uh, Veteran Radio Syndicate. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for another episode of Black Sheep Bravo. Take care, everybody. Always, Always armed. armed.